welcome to the first ever Sunday Girl Breakfast Club, 10 Questions With. I am Rachel, I'm the creator of Sunday Girl Breakfast Club, and I've just dropped my sunglasses. It's October, I don't even need them anyway. We're here today in Waterloo Station and we're going to be grabbing some breakfast with YouTuber, singer and songwriter Sarah Close. Or you get shot on by a pigeon, which has happened to me who is hopefully going to teach us some secrets about social networking and about, um, what is she going to teach us about? Uh, apologies for the audio for those sound geeks out there. Um, we don't actually have any kind of recording equipment as this is the first one yet, so hopefully as the project progresses we will be able to afford better equipment and things like that. So if you can hear announcements and everything, just soak it in as the, the atmosphere of where we are. <laughs> End of 2009, before we had Vine and the description situated on the right hand side. I was almost 15 with a pocket of dreams. I wanted to get on the YouTube scene. Borrowed a camera from my dad. Quality wasn't great, but it was all I had. Filmed myself singing the first song I'd ever written. It was called Just Today on Guitar it Was Play. So here we are with the wonderful YouTuber singer songwriter Sarah Close. Um, and we're going to be asking her a few questions, which actually are under the laptop. <laughs> right, should we try that again? <laughs> and hopefully she'll be able to give us an insight into social networking and how she has managed to get 100,000 followers recently. You. Oh look, there's a person up there. He'd have to have pretty good ass aim. He'd have to spit <laughs> it. <laughs> spit it? He'd have to like wiggless bums, he did it. So when did you first start YouTubing? So I first started when I was 14, end of 2009, beginning of 2010. Yeah, basically I started teaching myself guitar at the end of 2009 and I wanted to share it. I wanted criticism, I wanted to know what people thought and I watched other people on YouTube and I wanted to join in. And did you start with originals or did you do The covers? first song I uploaded was an original, it was called Yesterday. And I was so bad at guitar, I haven't learned how to upstrum. So it was just me downstrumming the whole thing. It was really bad. Yeah, it was bad. And um, and from then on, I started to do covers. And yeah, now just covers. So when did you realise that it was all kicking off for you? So I've been doing it since 2009. So the first like three years of growth have literally been like 20,000. And then this past year is when it's like gone. So in 2013, I went to a YouTube event called Summer in the City. Uh -huh. And after that, met loads of YouTubers, and I, this was my first time in the city, so it was the first time I really became involved in the community. And after that, I uploaded a cover of Dark Horse Get Lucky, and then the cover that really made it, I did a cover of Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Oh, cool, and okay. And that was like, I had great lighting, and everything just worked. It just all clicked into place, and that, that cover did really well, and then from there, it's just been growing. Dark Horse was by far the turning point. Oh my god, this is so good. So if you were to give the SGBCers, say, three absolute must-dos when it comes to the internet and social networking, what would you say? Post photos, rather than just posting text at the time, because photos are interesting, they attract people, and obviously make the photos nice photos, not photos of... <laughs> Number two, be engaging, show your personality, because people like to see your personality. They like to know what you're like, and we have food on our way. Oh, food has Hello. arrived! Here's a question. What did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> so, I need the camera to see this. This is my favourite breakfast. I always, if I'm eating out for breakfast, I always order this eggs benedict. By far the best thing on the menu, always. First one, post pictures. The second one, be engaging. And the third one, I would say, is get to know your community. Talk to other people who are doing what you're doing. Make friends. And just be active. 
I guess that's four. I just have four. Okay, well, four's fine. You can't count. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to do a montage of you just like loving off your breakfast. <laughs> oh my god. So strong. Is it good? Oh my god, this bread is amazing. This is really good. Like, this is seriously good. In contrast, how about three must not do's? Never put something online that you wouldn't want A, your parents to see, B, your baby cousins. This is something that I'm constantly thinking about when I'm making a tweet or I'm posting something because my parents watch my videos and also my like 12 year old second cousins watch them. So I always think is this something I would want them to see and if it isn't then I'm like don't put it online. Yeah. So that's one thing. Number one is by far the biggest thing. Make sure you know what you're putting out. The second thing is probably think about how things can come back to you. So a post that you make in like 2009, if people want to find it and dig it up then they will. And number three would probably be try not to be grumpy. Yeah, like if you're having a bad day, everyone has bad days and it's fine to rant and stress. But I see. like negativity breeds negativity and I think nobody really wants to follow someone who's negative and who is, you know, a bit down all the time because that's yeah. just not fun. No one wants to see that on their timeline. They yeah. want, you know, everyone, it's nice when people bring up other people and make them happier. So yeah, yeah those are my three don'ts. I did three that time. Well done, well done. <laughs> Now I've started Sunday Girl Breakfast Club, I'm going to eat breakfast like oh, a king. Oh, and I'll spit all over my guests, chowing down on this breakfast. This is probably the best egg Benedict I've no. ever had. Mm -hmm. And so you've had nice. a few. <laughs> my god, I feel good. I feel ready. The women are growing up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry that so we did <laughs> that to you. That Hang was on. Fine, no worries. <laughs> All the cutlery everywhere. Who inspires you as a female songwriter? Ooh, nice question. Ooh. Well, I would say a massive thing, a massive person is Joni Mitchell. Her album Blue, I can remember when I first bought that, listening to it in my car and literally being like, this is changing my life. I'm massively inspired by the songwriter Banks. I think she puts such vulnerability in her music, which is something I really aim to do. They're my top two. Top two. That's an I like oldie, top two. oldie Joni Mitchell and a newie Banks. I really like those two. What was it like reaching 100,000 followers? Hmm. That was a big moment, a massive moment, because I can remember when I first started my YouTube being like, okay, like when I hit 10,000 subscribers being like, wow, this is big now. Oh dear. Ooh. <laughs> So when I first moved into uni I made a massive list of goals that I wanted and one of the goals was 100,000 subscribers and that's been the first yes. one I've been able to tick off. Awesome. So yeah, it's been it's been really nice actually because I finally feel like I have a massive family on YouTube and yeah, I love it. So as a female singer-songwriter, how do you feel about Sunday Girl Breakfast Club? What do you think it's going to do for I everyone? I think the initiative is a brilliant idea. I think it's a really nice to have a community of females, and men as well, but you know, Sunday Girl Breakfast Club is all about female empowerment and bringing girls together and that kind of thing. And I think, I think that's something that London's really missing. And I think it's a really good initiative and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see where it goes. I'm looking forward to being involved with it and yeah, I think it's a really good idea. For 13 minutes of me and you just eating breakfast. And have you thought about what you're going to do for us at the launch? I've had a few thoughts. I think I'm going to do a cover and I might do another song and just generally be my talkative self and blabble on about YouTube and social media and music and all that. Fantastic. But I'm looking forward to it. Lovely. Well, we cannot wait to have you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Sarah Close will be with us at the official launch on, uh, I'll start that again. 16th of um, November. 16th of November. 16th of November. Uh, we would love to see you at the official launch along with Sarah on Sunday the 16th of November at the Jam Tree in Chelsea from 11 a.m. No, you're not meant to eat the bar. Oh god, I ate it. Oh. <laughs>